All right, so uh, this is the time of the night. We're bringing our featured artist. Going to give Rob just a split second to change up the shot. And uh, Big Greg was one of the um, one of the early episodes that we were having that we uh, did on the show. I, I believe that uh, it was probably before Rob came along, so pre thirty three, something like that. Pre hit. And, uh, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs ever. We played the song "Like a Stripper." <laughs> <laughs> That is hey, Greg, funny. how you doing, man? Thanks I'm, for being here. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Final. Yeah, yeah. So not only did we wait so long to have you, but uh, I messed up and and uh, <laughs> really threw you off last week. So that was my fault. But uh, we're not now, so. we're not worried about that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You're a nice guy, man. You're you're fun to hang out with. Uh, we've been having fun for about the last half hour. Uh, so I told you this is where I want you to give your elevator pitch of who you are and you know what what you are doing with your music. Um, you know, like 30, 40 seconds, and then we're going to check out Oh No, which we listened to recently on the show. We'll come yes. back, get deeper with Dave, so go right ahead. Hey, um, everybody out there, my name is Big Greg. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a hip-hop artist, signed to Manifest Music, um, along with some artists like uh, L.A. Truth and our DJ, DJ Easy Ruck. Uh, we're based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I got a new single called Oh No. And if you're a fan of the show, you've probably heard it before, but I can't wait for you to hear it again. Oh, no. It's yeah. a hit. It's a hit. Cool. So we'll check out Oh, No. Let us know what you think in the comments. Share this video out. We'll be right back. Hit it, Rob. Mm, yeah. 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 Hey, said she got a man. Said he doing what he can. He sound like a good man. Said he doing what he should. Take out the hood. Mm -hmm. Said he treated real good, baby girl. But your man ain't got no dough. He's sick and tired of him, ain't got no more. He ain't getting paid, ain't got no show. And when I hit the stage, they go from bro. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He looking through your phone, that's a no no. No no. He gon' see them texts that I sent you. And all them different places that we've been to. Yeah. By the way, where you been to? been to? Feeling like a week ago, it's been to. Been to. He gon' try to buy you a Benz too, a Benz too. But he can't pay your rent too, rent too. He listen what you went to, into. But I can't do that. Do that. You already knew that. Knew that. Now he begging for a second chance, already blew that. Yeah. I'm the man, say the least. Say the least. Throwing money while your man pay the least. Pay the least. Baby girl, I ain't telling you to cheat. You to cheat. I'm just saying, make the call. We hey, can say she got a man. Mm -hmm. Said he doing what he can. Mm -hmm. He sound like a good man. Said he doing what he should. Mm -hmm. Trying to take out the hood. Mm -hmm. Said he treat her real good, baby girl. But your man ain't got no dough. He's sick and tired of him, ain't got no more. He ain't getting paid, ain't got no show. And when I hit the stage, they go front row. You ain't gotta work, gotta work in my room like you ain't got a shirt, got a shirt. Matter of fact, he ain't gotta work, work. You looking at me funny like this ain't gotta work. Oh no, I told you how a man. man. Ain't too many people that can do it like the man. man. White on white, we can do it like the clan. clan. And take it to the ceiling, we can do it like a fan. Oh no, you tell me how to top that. Top that. Stop telling me to stop that. Stop that. Can't hold on to your top that. How it feels to chew five gum. New five gum. Stimulate your senses. Finally, the deeper with Dave jingle is gone. Been trying to get rid of that thing for like eight years. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. I got a bunch of questions for you, so uh, it's they're going to be kind of all over the place. The first one, I like we were chatting before the show. Um, I mean, you've been making music a long time. And you wow. said you used to produce and mix and do all that yourself. Uh, but now you just go to a studio and have everyone handle it. So what, what caused that transition? Was it just like budgetary reasons or you just uh, explain? I started off on my own um, and I was in like college. I was in my dorm room recording with like a little headset microphone, like a cheap yeah. one, like $2. Like, it was cheap. That's all I could afford. So, um, uh, I guess when I moved to Charlotte, I finally made like one more mixtape, which is one that I mixed and did on my own. It was called Last Chance. And I was like, I'm going to have to go out here and get a regular job, um, you know, if this music doesn't work out for me. So 
I'll make this this mixtape called Last Chance, and if someone picks it up and likes it and helps me out, then I'll run with it. If not, then that's it. And uh, that's when Manifest Music uh, heard this. The CD. Oh wow, man! Awesome. Yeah, and, and they got up with me, signed me right away, and then that's when we start paying to make real <laughs> sound and music instead of the kitchen music. <laughs> that's awesome, man. So, what, were you like kind of ready to just leave the scene completely? I was not ready, but I was trying to be an adult. <laughs> and just, <laughs> so, just like you were like, in this headspace, you're just like, I'm just going to give this one last push, and if you know someone one catches one. on, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. That's like serendipity right there. When you know <laughs> you think back, it's like, hey, I guess it's meant to be. I am supposed to make more music. It happened right, right there. Yeah. Next one, man. I'm. Uh, I know Chris Swan would have some thoughts on this. Uh, Maybe we should can chat on his point of view after, but you talk about like, you know, positivity, clean lyrics, you know, as part of your message and just the way that you uh, produce your music and everything. I'm curious, is that, is that a reaction to the negative connotations that are out there or is that just what you like to make? Like, that is it is, that simple? That is honestly solely based on, um, on the way I was raised. Uh, I grew up in the church. I heard mm -hmm. you guys talking about the Christian stuff earlier. But I grew up in the church and uh, I started with music, um, playing the drums. The church needed a drummer. My parents started the church. So, yes, they are pastors. And uh, they needed a drummer. So I started playing the drums for the church. And, I mean, I grew up literally in the church. And so that was all I knew. I didn't even know hip hop music when I was younger. All I knew was, uh, like the gospel gospel music and um so that's what molded me into and also when i did start rapping my parents were like my first fans my first two fans <laughs> so i can yeah. play i'll only playing to like to ship it back to my parents it's not gonna happen uh, right and then and then you sent them the video for like <laughs> 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 it's like hey mom this is what i've don't you know. even start. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, so based on them being my first fans and growing up in the church, it, that was the only way I could, could really go. The people that have my back the most are people from my church, you know. So, so I just cool, man. Yeah, yeah. So the other the other thing you said, I, I've I've spoke on this in the past about whether it was fine art or. Um, making music like it, it's such a cathartic process like I, I know it was for me where i just i couldn't get the song out of my head and i couldn't be at peace until it was done and even wow. like with a painting or a drawing and stuff and uh like you you kind of touched on that in this interview at uh with level 21 i mean is that do you do you feel the same way or is it something I do different? Feel, no i feel the same way like honestly if you sat with me while i make a song I mean, I start off by making the hook, and if you if, if I get a hook just the way I like it, I'll sit there and listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> thousand times before I move on. Like, okay, I gotta I gotta finish this song. Yeah. And then I I can stay up. If I'm doing something else in this world, I get tired of reading. I fall asleep. But if I'm if I'm making a song, I can stay up until the end of time until that song is done. And yeah, even, yeah. Even now in the studio, I don't I don't leave the studio until the song is done. Is Another that kind of an extension of that, <laughs> an extension of that point, man. I've uh, I took this approach. It was almost kind of subconscious, like it wasn't really premeditated. Where I, when I was mixing, like you know, a hundred times on the same song, or e even like doing a guitar part like fifty times, I knew at the time I'm like, I'm willing to get sick of this during this process because I know I'm going to enjoy this for 50 years. Right. 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 That's even, even if it was like lower level budgets, like I, it's important. It's like this art that I'm once it's done, I move on. I'm not going to probably not going to come back and remix anymore. And on top of that, I only listen to my own stuff like a few times a year because <laughs> I, when I do listen, I want to experience like the freshness of it that I used to have way back in the beginning. It's Same like, way. What? really? Right, <laughs> Same cool. way. You know, and you know, it's other people, if someone compliments, like I post it, someone says, man, that song, that was a good song, man. I have to go back and listen to it to hear. I can almost feel like I can hear it from their ears 
I, right I know, but with the long break, break, you can appreciate it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just, that's been my experience. Uh, that's true. How about you, Joe? You like that too, man? What? Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, Joe funny. turns <laughs> off during this interview. He just like shuts down. No, I, I think I caught, yeah, real quick. Like I'm trying to get into that too, like bring back the, the passion with it. You know, I get so frustrated recording and trying to write and make it sound how I think it's supposed to sound. Do you take a back. long break though? After like when you mit finish a song, do you like? Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, like okay. yeah. I'll obsess about it for a few months and then I'll just completely drop it and won't listen to it for years. Cool man. Um, website is biggregplk.com. Yep. That's where you can see his uh, videos, photos, newsletter. And the awards. He's won some regional awards in the Carolina. Um, yeah. You could see him holding this giant statue with a huge <laughs> smile. It's glorious. Uh, they, said I was, they said I was about to cry when I gave that, uh, but that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. All right, but shout out your uh, social media handles, man. And, uh, I tried to make it very easy. They're all the same. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, um, Twitter. It's all Big Greg P L K. That's B I G G R E G P L K. Nice man. Hey, pleasure chatting with you. It sucks. It, it you know it's been three years. I know Joe has he has mentioned you throughout the years. He's like, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna talk to Big Greg. Bring him in here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, yeah, it's all this I time. Like I, has. I helped build this place because I was like one of the first. Man. I know, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. He checks in the mail, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> check we'll, the we'll get the check out, man. It's coming. Trust us. Assuming that I've never given my address, I don't know if I believe that. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a, a, an Amazon name. drone. <laughs> we'll drop it off. All right. We're going to move on, Greg. Uh, we'll have you back as a critic, though, for sure. Please yeah, do, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. You can be Thank the you. next Chris Swan. I mean, I can't wait. Be... No porn, but yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> 